Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, about 15 persons who were abducted alongside 156 pupils from the Salih Hutanko Islamia School in Tejina, Niger State, escaped from the kidnappers' den in Zamfara State on Sunday. The victims were kidnapped more than two weeks ago, but were reportedly separated from the children before being taken to a forest in Zamfara State. It was gathered that on Friday night, the 15 victims managed to open the door of the house in which they were locked in when the bandits stationed to guard them were drunk and deeply asleep. The escapees were said to have moved in different directions in order not to arouse suspicion from other bandits in the forest. Some of the victims were able to come out from a bush around Zaria and sought the help of some military personnel who helped them in calling their people in Niger State. One of the escapees who first arrived in Tejina broke the news, which made the Niger State government to immediately swing into action to assist the remaining victims. At number four, a trigger happy police inspector who allegedly killed five people and injured four others on Sunday morning has been arrested by the Enugu State Police Command. It was gathered that the police inspector attached to Special Protection Unit Base 9 Umahia, Abia State, started shooting residents at a Loto office on Sunday morning. According to a statement by the police command's PRO, Daniel Ndukwe, five young men were gone down while four others were left critically injured. The Enugu State Commissioner of Police, Mohamed Aliyu, has ordered a thorough investigation into the incident. Meanwhile, the governor of Enugu State, Ifai Uguayi, has visited the victims at the Esu Teaching Hospital, where they are receiving treatment. At number three, a Nigerian returning from Pakistan, Ezen Nyeche Kinsley Ebuka, has been arrested by operatives of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency at the Mutala Mohammed International Airport in Lagos State, with five pallets of heroin weighing 250 grams discovered in his anus. This was disclosed in a statement released on Sunday by the NDLA Director of Media and Advocacy, Femi Baba Femi. According to the statement, the suspect had arrived at the D arrival hall of the airport on June 14th on Turkish airline flight from Pakistan with the illicit drug inserted in his anus. He however failed to beat the eagle eyes of the narcotic officers during inward clearance of the passengers on the flight. In the same vein, a serving officer of a law enforcement agency, Popola Abayomi, was arrested by the NDLA on June 15th for selling assorted illicit drugs to students of a federal university and cultists in Ogun State. At number two, the Lagos State Emergency Management Agency has said no life was lost in the fire outbreak which occurred at a three-story building in Marina, Lagos State on Sunday. The spokesman of LASEMA, Nusa Okumbo, said the agency and other stakeholders extinguished the fire that gutted the three-story elephant house building at Marina. Okumbo added that efforts to put off the fire initially proved unsuccessful as the gas cylinder in one of the rooms exploded and spread the fire to adjoining flats in the building. But eventually, the raging fire was extinguished with the combined efforts of the community, La Sema, Lagos State Fire Service and the Federal Fire Service. At number one, the Nigerian army has announced that on Sunday, soldiers thwarted an attempt to attack Komshe town in Bonu State by Boko Haram terrorists. The spokesperson of the army, Brigadier General Oyema Nwachuku, announced this in a statement. He said, the intervention of gallant troops forced the terrorists who came on gun trucks and motorcycles to flee without accomplishing their mission. Nwachuku also disclosed that at least six of the terrorists were killed during the encounter and six AK-47 rifles, one handheld grenade, asserted drugs and other medical items were recovered. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.